month, Disney released a trailer for their new live action version of The Little Mermaid, starring a black actress. And some, yeah. Yeah, me too, I loved it. But some people got very mad. And before that, the Lord of the Rings spinoff featured a black hobbit, and some people got very, very mad. So why are people getting mad at mermaids and hobbits? Well, I'll tell you in a segment called, How Did We Get Here? <laughs> a few weeks ago, Disney released their first trailer for the upcoming live action Little Mermaid movie starring actress Halle Bailey. Some people reacted to it like this. He's like me. She's brown like you. I'm so excited. We're gonna go see it when it comes out in the theater. Yes! And some people reacted like this. From a scientific perspective, okay, it doesn't make a lot of sense to have someone with darker skin who lives deep in the ocean. I mean, if anything, I mean, not only should the Little Mermaid be pale, she should actually be translucent. If you're not gonna take this seriously, then we're not going to. And we're just gonna troll the hell out of you at this point. I say we remake a couple of other classics, this time using an all-white cast. I say we remake Roots. Huh? Hey, wait a second, cause that I would see. <laughs> my name's Kunta Kinte, but my friends call me Toby. It's ridiculous to be mad that Ariel is black. There's only one good reason to be mad at Ariel, and that's the fact that she is constantly bragging about all her thingamabobs. Oh, really? You got 20? Well, Ariel, some people don't have a single thingamabob, so check your thingamabob privilege. <laughs> but... <laughs> but it turns out there's a reason white people are so mad about The Little Mermaid. It's because of something called the empathy gap which sounds like a shitty new store at the mall. <laughs> but it's actually the scientific concept that people have a harder time relating to someone who doesn't look like them. And when it comes to entertainment, the empathy gap means that a lot of white people don't want to see movies starring people of color. There's even research to back it up. A study from the Journal of Communication says that in romantic movies, white people showed, quote, significantly less interest in seeing movies with mostly black casts than in seeing movies with mostly white casts, which is crazy because if you didn't watch movies with black casts, then you're missing the single greatest cinematic moment of all time, which of course is this. Unfortunately, the research gets even worse. One study found that when white people watched videos of non-white people, their brains registered as little activity as when they watched a blank screen. I know, man, which means when I do this, white viewers can't see me. <laughs> now, this isn't all on white people. It turns out the empathy gap doesn't go just one way. We all want to see ourselves on screen. So as long as there is diversity in who decides what movies and TV shows get made, we should be fine, right? But that's the thing. As of 2020 in digital and broadcast TV, only 10% of show creators were minorities. And 92% of all chair and CEO jobs were held by white people. 92%. Do you know how white that is? That's whiter than pumpkin spice latte deodorant. And <laughs> this is a real product. And if I have to know about it, so do you. <laughs> the problem is all those white executives aren't immune to the empathy gap. They want to see people who look like them. So they end up greenlighting shows that look like this or like this. White people, if it feels weird to you to have a black mermaid, imagine how weird this felt to us. It's a show about a bunch of white people who live in New York who still managed to have fun in a coffee shop, even though every single person of color had been purged from New York City. At least that's what I assume Friends was about. I would not know. I only watched the prequel. So. <laughs> so now we all know the problem, right? The problem is an entertainment industry run by white people who wanna see themselves on TV and viewers who believe a lady can have a fin for a butt, but not melanin. So <laughs> what's the solution? Well, believe it or not, it comes back to this. See, even though it makes the world's dumbest people furious, 
Casting a talented, gorgeous black girl as Ariel is exactly how we get through this. Because just seeing different kinds of people on screen helps empathy grow. One recent study showed that exposing white people to black faces increased white participants' subsequent liking for a different set of black faces. So basically, Black Ariel is gonna help people get excited about Black Bale, or Black Sleeping Beauty, or most importantly, Black Captain Crunch. <laughs> and frankly, the sooner we get a live action version of that, the better. <laughs> and, and by the way, having diverse casts isn't just the right thing to do, it's also good for business. One study showed that employing multiple black actors in the principal cast achieves significantly higher domestic box office revenues. And I know that that sounds a little confusing because didn't I just say that white people don't want to see diverse movies? Well, here's the thing, and I know this is going to be hard for some people to hear, but white people aren't the only people. <laughs> so even if white people might be less excited about a movie, people of color turn out and more than make up for it. So those white executives are gonna have to catch up and we're gonna have to start promoting people of color. Not because they're woke, a word you totally ruined, but because people want to see shows like Squid Game or a black lady sketch show or <clears throat> The Amber Ruffin Show. And, <laughs> and white people, you can help. A recent study says the drop in interest in seeing a movie with a black cast was erased when whites read positive comments about the film from other whites. So white people, if you can even see me, go see black movies and then tell your friends about them. I tell them myself, but I'm just a blank screen. <laughs> now, I know that making a bunch of movies with black people in them isn't gonna cure racism, but shit, it ain't nothing. It's a start, and if we can do that, then we can finally focus on what really matters, making sure every single person in this great country of ours has their fair share of thingamabobs. This has been How Did We Get Here?